Hi, welcome to the Quinta. You're watching Howard's Portugal. There's the little spring that uh, you'll have seen the other day that the water all comes from. And that's where we're going. Or might just have been, depending on how I edit this. So if Mozart hadn't been bored, would he have written any symphonies? Would Van Gogh have done any painting? We are programmed to find some, you know, entertainment, something to do in our lives. So yeah, boredom. First of all, I find it extremely difficult to actually get bored when we've got this view here. Just a couple of terraces up from uh, the uh, reservoir but uh, the views change so quickly so that's really nice That was hot work, but I've given that a going over. Get all this lovely uh, turf underneath. I'll come back and give it another go, probably in about a week's time. And uh, then once everything has uh, calmed itself down, give it a rake and it could be ready to plant. Exciting. I keep saying exciting, but actually it is exciting. I'm really enjoying getting into the land here. It's great soil. Um, got to small amount of equipment to help. Could really do with a big tractor though because there is a huge amount of land that we need to clear up the top which I will show you another day. It's a little bit grey and overcast but that's not really a problem because it's perfect weather for transplanting and uh, I thought I'd just show you what I was up to. You go up there and watch. Ah. Ah. That was the hardest one yet. So we've had a bit of rain, which has been really, really useful. And the soil is this wonderful dark stuff. I've uh, ploughed in um, the top layer, a bit of extra organic stuff to break down and I've been planting cardoons. Um, we've got a big patch of them just behind the house and what's interesting about these things is they are actually used, they use the flour to um, curdle milk to make cheese. So rather than using rennet they uh, do it with a vegetarian alternative. So that's something that uh, I was quite interested to find out. And we've got, as I say, a massive clump of them really overcrowded here. So I'm spreading them out. Pretty plants.
So this is what we're dealing with. They sort of all get attached underground and they come up as these lovely corms. So into the ground with that and I'm just trying to get it approximately the right level and do it while I'm holding this thing. Let's uh, put you down and just get that sorted out. So there we go. Pretty simple. Give them a bit more space. Hopefully they're all going to grow into nice big plants. I think the, um, the actual stems of the leaves are edible as well. Um, but I've never actually tried those yet, so that's for another day. So what are you doing? So I'm making lemon curd, and orange curd, and I am recycling the zest of the orange, and then I'll make some confit orange oranges. Hey, so today I'm going to make some lemon curd uh, because we have a huge amount of oranges. lemon and um, grapefruit so I've got my butter and got sugar eggs and obviously all the oranges what I've done today as well as I want to try and make um, some comfy oranges and it's I've taken a really sharp knife and I've made them really really thin I need to thin them up a bit more I think so I'm gonna boil them all the orange peels um, three times to blanch them and then once I've blanched them three times I'm just going to put them in syrup with lots of sugar and water and then let them dry so that's a trial today to see how it uh, comes out the last lemon curd I've made was good so I'm quite pleased I'm going to make some more just to use up the oranges we've got so I'm going to make it, I've put um, three oranges, one grapefruit and two lemons today. So we'll see what happens. Here they are, a few days later. You can see that uh, the leaves have all sort of said, oh, I want some water. But that's okay. They're starting to establish slowly. And... Uh, see this one over here is a little bit happier but there we go so thanks very much for watching jolly windy at the mo but 